Hello, this is AJ. Welcome to the mini story for unlimited power. Now get some power in your body right now. Get some passion in your body. Start with your body. Look up, not down. Get your chest up. Get your shoulders back. Stand tall. If you're sitting, sit tall. Big deep breaths. And then if you can, start moving and finally big smile on your face. I'm smiling right now. You should be too. All right, and we got some energy in our bodies. I'm energized. You're energized. Let's start the mini story for unlimited power. There was a guy named Marco. What was his name? Marco. There was a guy named Marco. Was he a girl or was he a guy? He was a guy, of course. He was a guy. His name was Marco. And Marco did something foolish. Did he do something intelligent or did he do something foolish? Well, he did something foolish. He bet all his money in the stock market. Oh no, what did he do? He bet his money in the stock market. How much of his money did he bet in or on the stock market? 67.7 million dollars, in fact. All of his money. He bet all of his money on the stock market. 67.7 million dollars. Marco bet 67.7 million dollars on the stock market. It was a roll of the dice. Was it a bet on a random event? Yes, he was betting on luck. He was betting on chance. He was betting on random events. Could Marco control the stock market? Of course not. No, he couldn't. He could not control the stock market. It was a roll of the dice. His bet was a roll of the dice. It was a random event. He was betting on luck. He was betting on chance. Who made a roll of the dice? Who bet on a random event? Marco. Marco bet on a roll of the dice. He bet on the stock market. And how much did he bet on the stock market? 67.7 million dollars. Was that all his money? Yes, it was. It was all of his money. All of it. He bet it on the stock market on a roll of the dice. Unfortunately for Marco, he lost all the money. He lost everything. Marco became poor. He had no money at all. How much did he lose? Everything. 67.7 million dollars. Marco lost 67.7 million dollars. Was he happy or was he sad? Well, he was happy. Of course he was happy. Why was he happy? Well, he decided it was an advantageous event. Hmm. Interesting. Did he decide it was a beneficial event? Yes, he did. He decided it was a good event. He decided it was an advantageous event. What did he decide? He decided it was an advantageous event. What kind of event did he decide it was? Advantageous. Marco decided that losing all his money was good. 
He decided it was an advantageous event. It would help him. Interesting. Who decided this? Marco. Marco decided it was an advantageous event to lose all his money. He decided that was advantageous to him. Beneficial to him. Helpful to him. Why did he decide it was advantageous? How was it advantageous? Well, he said, Oh, now I have a lot of free time. I can cultivate my health. What did losing all his money give him? It gave him free time, a lot of free time. Marco got a lot of free time. So now he had a lot of free time. He decided to cultivate his health. Did he want to develop his health? Improve and develop his health? That's exactly right. Marco decided to cultivate his health. He decided to improve and develop his health. What did he want to cultivate? His health. He wanted to cultivate his health. Did he want to destroy his health or cultivate his health? He wanted to cultivate his health, improve it, develop it. Who wanted to cultivate his health? Marco, of course. Marco wanted to cultivate his health. He wanted to what? Cultivate. He wanted to cultivate his health. In fact, his aspiration was to have a perfect body. Perfect body. What was his aspiration? His aspiration was to have a perfect body. His desire was to have a perfect body. Was his aspiration to have a great body or a fat body? Of course, a great body. His aspiration, his hope, his desire was to have a perfect body. Whose aspiration was it? Marco's. Marco's aspiration was to have a perfect body. A body exactly like Brad Pitt's. Hmm. Marco wanted to have a body exactly like Brad Pitt's. His aspiration was to have a body exactly like Brad Pitt's. A perfect, strong body. So, he ran every day. He went to the gym every day. He ate green vegetables every day. How often did he run? Every day. He ran every day. How often did he go to the gym? Every day. He went to the gym every day. How often did he eat green vegetables? Every day. He ate green vegetables every day. He ran every day. He went to the gym every day. He worked out every day. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Who exercised every day, constantly, all the time? Marco. Marco ran every day. Marco went to the gym every day. Marco ate green vegetables every day. And why? Because his aspiration was to have a perfect body, just like Brad Pitt's. Well, after two months... Marco had a breakthrough. Did he have a breakthrough after one month? No, no, he didn't. Not after one month. He didn't have a breakthrough after one month. After one month, he was still a little bit fat and, you know, a little bit weak. When did he have a breakthrough? 
after two months. After two months, he had a breakthrough, a sudden improvement, a huge, big, sudden improvement. Who had a breakthrough? Marco. Marco had a breakthrough, a sudden, big improvement. What kind of breakthrough did he have? He had a health breakthrough. He had a fitness breakthrough. His body suddenly improved. He developed, he cultivated muscles. The fat disappeared from his body. He had a body just like Brad Pitt's. Was this a breakthrough? Of course it was. It was a breakthrough, a big breakthrough, a big change, sudden Big improvement. Sudden big change. Marco had a breakthrough. And who had the breakthrough? Marco had the breakthrough. Whose body did his look like? Well, Brad Pitt's. His body, Marco's body, looked exactly like Brad Pitt's body now. Woohoo! Well, of course, Marco's life changed. Thousands, tens of thousands of gay men wanted him. They loved his hot, sexy body. Thousands, tens of thousands of straight women loved his hot and sexy body. Now, of course, straight and gay, we're talking about homosexual and heterosexual are the formal terms. Homosexual means a, a man likes a man or a woman likes a woman in terms of love and sexually. And then straight is the opposite. Straight means um, heterosexual. It means when a, a man is attracted to a woman or a woman's attracted to a man, we say straight is kind of the casual way to say that. So straight and gay. Okay, so tens of thousands of gay men wanted Marco's body because he was hot and sexy. Tens of thousands of straight women wanted Marco's body because he was so damn sexy. Everywhere he went, gay men and straight women wanted him. Was he happy? Oh yeah, Marco was happy. The end. All right, that's the end of the mini story for Unlimited Power. Hope you enjoyed it. Listen to it many, many times. Answer the questions. Have fun. Smile. Move your body. Relax and enjoy. You are learning English consciously and subconsciously. Just let it happen. See you next time. Bye-bye.